Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Kabir Singh, and this is Against the Grain. You probably already know, in 2024, there is going to be a live-action remake of Snow White. And I want to talk about the actress, but before we do, be sure to like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell if you have yet to. Let's dig into this. Snow White in 2024 will be played by Colombian-American actress Rachel Zegler. And this raised the ire of a lot of people. Now you may be thinking, what's the big deal? In most movies, it wouldn't matter what the skin color of the main character, or any character for that matter, is. But in this particular case, Snow White literally gets her name because her skin is white as snow. And also, there's going to be other changes, such as the dwarves not being dwarves. They're going to be normal people. Check this photo out. <laughs> Talk about overlooking the small details. Now, that in and of itself, you can't hold against Rachel Zegler. She got hired to do a job. But what you can hold against her is her entitled, arrogant, rude attitude, and the way that she just bashes the original Snow White. Let's watch Exhibit A. I know that you've told me before that your version of Snow White is different, and it's more of a 2022 version of Snow White. What did you mean by that? I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there's a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. So we didn't do that. This weird. Time. Weird. Her laugh is like so obnoxious. So no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because like we cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. So there you have it. She basically says that Snow White is dated and that the prince in the original Snow White was a stalker. Well, there's a song in the original movie where she says she would literally wish that the prince would find her. So no, there's no stalking going on in the movie. She's used this talking point across multiple interviews. And it seems she keeps digging herself deeper in the hole because she recently attended a SAG protest, you know, for better actors pay, where she had this to say. If I'm going to stand there 18 hours in a dress of an iconic Disney princess, I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. Now, in response, this account and wokeness said the new Snow White is insufferable, to which Rachel Zegler replied, fellas, is it woke to want to be fairly compensated? To which they then clapped back again, saying, fairly compensated? Aren't you getting paid millions of dollars to ruin an iconic Disney character? So first off, I totally understand how streaming can cut into actors' paychecks. And I understand the need to be paid fairly for your time. But also, what Rachel Zegler doesn't understand is that it's a culmination of many things she's said and done that make her insufferable. And notice in the clip, she talks about herself and what she deserves. And there's so many people below her that truly don't get paid well. And it looks like she doesn't care about them. Somebody commented, if she hadn't talked about herself, I think it would have been received better. Like if she talked about the crew spending hours and not getting paid for every hour. Like exactly. She's a narcissist. And also, she talks about playing an iconic Disney princess when she's gone interview after interview crapping on the original film. Like, pick a lane, honey. Somebody tweeted, So if Rachel wishes to be paid every minute she is streamed, then is the case still the same when the movie, like her last two bombs, does she incur debt? Gotcha, bitch! Also, she talks about wearing this iconic Disney dress as if it's some sort of burden that she deserves millions for. Now, obviously, she received a lot of backlash. She tweeted, I love you very much, forever and ever. Remember to be kind. Treat each other with patience and empathy. 
Remember that you are loved unconditionally, no matter your mistakes, no matter your misunderstandings. You deserve it. You deserve love. You deserve to live without fear. To which somebody replied, but not true love, right? <laughs> Jokes aside, this is where she really starts to look like a hypocrite. After Rachel tweeted that, people responded with things like, what about Gina Carano? And tell Gina. So for context, Gina Carano is an actress. She was on Disney Plus's Mandalorian, for example, one of my favorite shows. Well, in 2020, she was on the woke chopping block because she put in her Twitter bio, beep, boop, bop pronouns. And people automatically assumed that she was mocking transgender people. And she was fired from Disney Plus and pretty much blacklisted. Well, it turns out at the time that Rachel Zegler was cheering on Gina's cancellation. On September 13th, Gina Carano tweeted, Beep Boop Bop has zero to do with mocking trans people and 100% to do with exposing the bullying mentality of the mob that has taken over the voices of many genuine causes. I want people to know you can take hate with a smile. So boop you for misunderstanding. Boop Boop Beep Bop? Not Beep Boop Boop Beep? Bop? Beep? Boo boo bop. On the same day, Rachel Zegler tweeted, Do not make fun of pronouns. They are not a joke. Pronouns are validating. Pronouns are cool. Put your pronouns in your bio. I wear my pronouns on a button sometimes. It's a good thing. Bye. And also, she said, It is a fun time to remind you all to love Pedro Pascal, who is the main actor of Mandalorian. And if you need any more proof and that this is just not a coincidence. She also tweeted months later, I forgot that I blocked Gina Carano when she made fun of pronouns. Good riddance. So yes, she cheered on Gina Carano's cancellation. And that's very hypocritical because showing kindness is about not judging and meeting people where they are rather than jumping to assumptions. And that's exactly what it looks like Rachel Zegler is doing with Gina. So those are my thoughts on Rachel Zegler, the actress playing Snow White in the reboot. It's not really on her that she's playing her. That's more on Greta Gerwig, the screenwriter. What is on Rachel Zegler is the way that she conducts herself. And when she receives the backlash, it's too much for her to handle. That's very much representative of a lot of people these days. People want certain privileges, but not be accountable for the potential repercussions of those privileges. Music